Hi, I'm Neil from Vanguard, and I'm here to demonstrate to you the Vanguard Outer Fly series of roller cases. As you can see, they come in multiple sizes, from those that can be carried on board, subject to your airline's recommendations, of course, and those which are designed to take a full load of kit or lighting around uh, for wedding photographers, or just for those that really can't carry their things on their back anymore. This is the Outer Fly 49T that is carry-on compatible, subject to your airline's recommendations. Has a large main compartment, which as you can see, I've just attempted to get into, but have been stopped by these two straps. That's exactly what these are here for. Extra security. You'll also notice that the toggles for the main compartment have big yellow tags on them, just to make it easier to see amongst all the other zips. And then inside, we have these two straps. These prevent the bag from completely opening and all your kit falling out accidentally. To get inside properly, just unclip them and you now have a full-sized roller case. As you can see size-wise, this will easily accommodate a 150 to 600 or 2 to 600 mil lens um, and it will uh, take pro-sized bodies or mirrorless bodies with a lot of kit all around. You can see it's also Velcroed everywhere. An awful lot of bags aren't anymore, but these are, which means you can lay it out as you wish. This could be converted to be half camera gear, half your personal luggage, if you were just going on an overnight trip, for instance. Or, if you're not carrying your camera anywhere, you can lift the entire interior out. You've now got a suitcase. In the lid, there's a laptop compartment for up to a 15 inch laptop. And then on the front, we've got extra straps so you can carry a tripod and to help you do that. A little sling comes out at the base of the tripod feet to go into and then you can secure the tripod here. But as these straps are quite long and they can be moved around, you could strap a coat, for instance, on there if you preferred. And behind them, there's a further pocket into which you can put a tablet all of your uh, spare batteries and memory cards. And your memory cards have green for empty, red for full. There is also a sneaky little extra pair of pockets on this, which actually uh, you could use for, uh, again, batteries or small games or whatever you, or you want to do. You've got a little padded pouch here that goes inside here and that's replicated on the other side of the bag. And that could be, again, could be chargers, batteries, could be a, a small kind of electronic game, whatever you wish to carry. And as I said, you have that on the other side too. And we haven't forgotten the fact that this may well end up in an overhead locker. So as well as having the roller facility, you also have a handle just to make it easier to get out of the locker or indeed out of the boot of your car because a fully laden bag like this made out of waterproof materials is actually very difficult to get hold of and there's a further handle on the base just to make it extra easy to get it out. And that's the 49T. The same size as the 49T effectively and again carry on within the limits of your airline. We always have to keep saying that. It's a 55T. Now this is, when we launched it, won the TEPA award for best bag, because not only is it a roller case with the very popular four wheels rather than two, it also has a full, very comfortable, with plenty of airflow, backpack harness on it. If you're not using the harness, it can just detach, and then it gets tucked down inside here, out of sight, out of mind and it also makes the bag look that bit smaller and if you are carrying it on your back we've thought about you if you've just been running it through the mud you've got two little uh, covers just to make sure you don't end up with black marks on the back of your coat got the same system on the front with the extra locks for security which I should just undo but with the 55T and with the larger model I'll show you in a moment, as well as the hinges inside, there's also mesh. So even if this is completely undone, your camera gear won't fall out. 
but it also gives you the ability if we just set it up like that and with the hinges on and these locks on You have something which I think is quite unusual on a roller case, in that if you unzip the two main zips, they stop now, but you've got quick access into your camera with your favourite lens on without having to open the complete bag. As is usual with our roller cases as well, you've got straps that can be moved around into different positions here to carry, could be a tripod, could be a coat, could be a ground sheet but there's also an actual tripod carrier on the side using the same kind of little pouch here and then there are straps up here to carry a tripod on the side so you could potentially carry a lighting stand and a tripod or a monopod and a tripod should you choose. And then we have a little ticket pocket here, another padded pocket behind it and then a main pocket on the front which again is where your memory cards and our usual green for empty, red for used um, um, pouches and also places for pens, batteries etc and a tablet as well as the laptop compartment on the inside of the bag. So given the amount of room that you've got inside and the fact that you can use it as both a backpack and a roller case, this is the bag that probably gets closest to being all things to all people and our rangers dependent of course on the size of kit that you want to carry. If you've got a, a pro body with a grip that can only really sit at the bottom as it's quite narrow at the top just to get it within the carry-on regulations but bodies without grips of all designs and micro four thirds and uh, Fuji type bodies with grips will sit here just full size pro bodies won't. Again you can also as well as velcroing it to your heart's delight inside, take the interior out and you've just got a suitcase. So this is an awful lot, a very clever bag that you can actually use when you get there. You haven't got to swap all of your kit into another backpack or another bag. And the last bag that I'm going to show you is our 62T. This is really popular with wedding photographers and other events photographers who need to carry around a full set of kit and potentially a portable lighting system as well. Because it's bigger, you've got the ability to have the double handle here so you can slide other things over the top. And again, you've got the handle on the side to make it easy to grip out the boot of your car and the handle on the base. And everything is exactly the same here, except it's that much larger. There really isn't much in the way of camera hardware that you couldn't fit inside this. To the extent that we've actually provided extra dividers so you could put a full-size drone in here and camera gear around it, should you so wish. Or again, it could be some camera gear and some clothes or just all clothes. If you take the inside out, it just literally does become a suitcase. This, of course, is not carry-on, but there is very little that we can do to help you with that one. If you want to carry something this size, this really is the perfect working bag for somebody that needs a lot of gear on site that's easy to manoeuvre around. There you go, the Outerfly 62T. Thank you very much. <laughs>